I just want to let you guys know I came here in 2018 and I said, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> and uh, they were part of the convoy earlier, jabbing out on the road there. Uh, and I spent about five days roaming on Capiz on my scooter alone. It was really awesome. And when I came to Rojas City, I actually stayed here at President Rojas Inn. I just want to show you it again because I really liked it here and it's pretty funky. You notice right away that all the stairs are kind of throwback. Uh, you get this kind of ancestral vibe. Uh, I think this hotel was open 1998. But one thing too that makes it really, really fun is, I mean, it's called President Rojas Inn and all of the rooms are actually named after presidents. So in front of me, Estrada Suite, Aquino Suite, Ramos Suite. Uh, these are all names of presidents. I actually ended up last time in the Duterte Suite when he was president, funny enough. And now, I mean, what are the odds? I'm ended up in the Marcus Suite. You know, we don't do politics on my channel, so I don't want to hear it, guys, who your favorite is or whatever, but I do want to show you the room. I really like it. I think kind of the throwback, ancestral, retro kind of room vibes are great. I mean, look at the chair. this rattan on the back. I already had a shower. Shower's great. It's hot. Spacious bathroom. And I think I paid roughly 2000 I booked out on a Goda before I came. Uh, but yeah, you can have a view, I think. I think there's some sort of ancestral building on the back. But this location, too, is right in the city. It's great. Happy to have this room. Oh, and even the bed, I kid you not. <laughs> Oh, you kind of like sink into it. It's one of those like really nice, maybe memory foam. I don't know, but it's very comfortable. Fantastic. We're here. Rojas. just want to know, does that boat actually still operate? Because there's a crew on it, but it looks pretty throwback and well used. Anyways, I love it. I also love that it's 5.30 in the evening and I'm here in Roja City, which is the seafood capital of the Philippines. And as you can tell, it makes sense. Right on the ocean, look at the brackish kind of river system. I have a feeling those are all oyster culturing, oyster pens. Uh, now, is it Talaba or Talaba? Which way do you pronounce it? I want to know because I keep messing it up. I think what I'm going to do is go get some dinner because it's 5.30 and it makes me feel awesome. But I have to tell you this too. I am currently in Barangay Kulasi. Uh, on the other side, you could see over on the drone, that's Barangay Bai Bai, where all the famous kind of seafood restaurants and some resorts are. But over here, it's a little bit more local. And yeah, lots of beauty in the ocean here. Kids are paddling, lots of bunkas. It's kind of a grayish evening. I'm gonna go find some food. Probably should be seafood.
Man, I wanna go jogging here. I wish I had my running shoes. I might get up early in the morning and do that, but ah. Look at this. Kadi Mahan River Tour. I have a feeling those are floating cottages and I have a feeling you can eat oysters at them. Not tonight though. Tonight we're gonna go in the city because I ate at the Bye Bye before. Let's try something new. I've been pulled over. I've been pulled over. Hi. 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 Oh, Kugman! My old Saling and nice one. Uh, we're gonna take some photos. I'll see you in a sec. Thank you. Siggy, have a great night, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you next time in our house. Siggy, you sent me a message. Becoming Filipino. Maybe Alba Mista. <laughs> Thank you, guys. How long? Be aware, there's a one-way system on the bridges down near the Capitol Plaza area. I ended up behind the market now. I'm just trying to get back to the other side of the river. Always fun just roaming around and looking at cities. Uh, there's a nice sidewalk down by the river too, really beautiful. I had to quickly stop at the Capitol. It's glowing, it's beautiful. Rizal in the middle there. I mean, I really love the setup of this place. Makes you just want to walk around. If you could have seen again earlier by the river, it's all lit up. And there's just nice pathways for walking. And then you come out here, it's like a plaza and a rotunda. Everything just feels so alive here. Really, really lovely. Nice one, Capiz. I just love Achara so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's love out. It's really well cooked. The texture is so nice to eat. It's got like a little bit of crispiness to the outside, but so tender in the inside. I ordered two acharas because I love achara. The fork is for your sao sao and everything else, use your hands. Last night I said there's these cool little sidewalks and you can walk by the river by the capital. Well, good morning. That's what I'm up to right now. I'm just gonna walk down to the market, check things out, but really, really digging, digging. <laughs> digging the vibes, I was gonna say. Classic example right there. There's another walkway on the far side.
when you're in the middle of a city, it's just so peaceful and such a refreshing vibe to be able to walk down by the river. I really love this. Teodoro Arenas Trade Center. I think this is the public market I was driving around last night. Let's do a little quick walk through. Man, fair play to Rojas. It's just super organized in here. Get like a modern little Tinder hand vibe. Gulai. Gulai. My Nagavai. Uh, oh, cool, even the wet market. It's clean and organized. Let's go with Chinese fish. Yeah. That's awesome. The Bilani. Different kilo. Red snapper. Red snapper? Yeah. That's red snapper, and then she called this one Chinese fish. <laughs> and it's 250 a kilo, this one, the Chinese fish. Nice to Thank you, Adi. Lava. Same one already cleaned. Oh. See no, see no more clean. <laughs> Somebody cleaned them though. Nice one. Oh. This is dilis, diba. Oh. Imagine, I love this. They already cleaned the dilis, so you can really easily kinilaw them. This is how clean. Yeah. Oh, Mabelis, yeah. you're a pro, professional. And this is them here, no? My kilo, one kilo. One eighty. One eighty a kilo. 240 a kilo for clean or 180 a kilo for non-clean. Thank you, Ate. Nice. I really like this place. Look at this giant eel. Seriously, you gotta hand it to Rojas. It's really organized, very Malimpio, very clean. The scallops I saw earlier were 40 pesos a kilo. The scallops are life here. Oh, oh, look at these scallops. Yeah, this is scallop. Take pila, take pira. 200, one. Plate? Nice. That's 200 pesos for one big plate of fresh scallops. Okay, cool. When you come out the other side on the road where I was driving, it's a classic, classic market. So you have that really kind of fresh Olympio indoors and then I mean it's pretty chilled and in Olympio out here as well but it's back to the uh, the classic style public market. Coffee. Coffee is life. Oh barber shop. Look at this barber shop, so dope. The best. Thank you guys. Nice guy. Linda. That's a Filipino barber shop. I agree. That is awesome. Rungai bye bye, 12.15 in the afternoon, big D's. Uh, it's really, really chilled right now here. There's literally nobody because I guess midweek, kind of whatever weather. So I have the whole restaurant to myself. Uh, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna order a little bit of seafood and enjoy a nice meal here in Rojas.
salt and pepper squid. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest squid fan and that's just deep fried calamari, but it looks like this might have been a little bit fried or then glazed some sort of sauce, so. Mmm. I'm not sure if you get a little hint of teriyaki to it, but you know what? This is fantastic. I know squid sometimes can be a bit chewy, but again, this kind of doesn't have that um, um, um. It's more just quick bites. Really a savory kind of flavor to it. And there's a little hint of spice, although not much, but I'm gonna try one of the green chilies right there. Two of the green chilies. Yeah, just a tiny kick of spice, super good. I mean, do I even have to tell you about the Lapu Lapu? Probably not. It's just gonna be awesome. Sweet and sour for the win. Lapu Lapu is one of my favorite fishes in the Philippines. There it is. When in Rojas, you eat seafood. Mmm. <laughs> See you in a bit. Nice one, Big D's, 615 pesos. Uh, that's really great for a Lapu Lapu that was fresh and uh, the salt and pepper squid was great. I think I said great twice. Anyways, I gotta go and check in my motor for the boat to Batangas. So, down the coast we go. Back in Barangay Kulasi, and this is the end of the road where you'll find the port, and you can take a to-go boat to Batangas. It leaves at 4.30, it's 1.30 right now, I gotta check in my motor. I actually came here yesterday and bought my ticket for myself at this office, so. They remember me from 2015 and 2018. I was shouting to the boss side. Yeah, what's up? There it is. 4.30 p.m. sailing. It's 3.30 right now. It's just unloading. This goes back and forth, I think, every day from Batangas to uh, Rojas. Kuya Troy, he remembers me and Kumar for 2015. We were going to Romblon. Still here, man. What a bro. Thank you, huh? Uh, it's really a wonderful feeling just knowing people all over the country at the port. So I appreciate it, bro. Again. Hey, got it. Hey, Kuya. This one is for you also. Oh, he remembers me as well. He's the bossing of security. <laughs> He's the Malakas. <laughs> Okay, before anybody else comes in, because I already see a bag, I'm gonna have six, well, five roommates. Oh no, wait, there's only four. Okay, three roommates. It's a four packs cabin, right there, on the lower bunk. Always try and get lower bunk if you can, because uh, you sleep way better, you're not up by the lights. Although these ones have little pulley curtains, so quick CR check. Just making sure nobody was in there. I was worried for a sec somebody was in there. All right, little ensuite shower. Welcome to To Go. I'll see you later from the upper deck. It's a good guy. What's up, man? You right? Vader, right? Yes. He's got the coolest name, Vader. Chatting to him earlier. Uh, we have left, and if you didn't know, to go is basically what I think the most modern ships 
uh, in the Philippines. I've used them over the years and they tend to have a few kind of funky things to them like this bar area. Uh, maybe later this evening sometimes they have a band that plays and you can like get a drink and jam out. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it here and yeah I'll see you later on on this boat. We got about 19 hours I think to go so power on. Vader, coolest name ever. Vader. <laughs>